Well, g'day. We're going to have a look at uh, Super C. It's a video compression software. That's it there. Uh, it's pretty wild, and it's pretty um, excellent. To, it's a pretty excellent tool to have uh, as if you're working in video and you want to get your videos in multiple formats. I can't believe how far we've come with formats, and this this tool pretty much fixes everything. Uh, the first challenge for it, though, is to download it. So off to Google and chuck in Super C in one word, and it pops up in my search the second Super, the C as in the copyright logo. Now the website is the most whacked website I've ever seen. It uh, is very hard to find to download, but basically you know you're on the right spot if you've got these sorts of um, pictures showing up on their website in the, in the banner. And uh, you scroll all the way down to the bottom. There's probably other places, but you can see there's just a bunch of text there that I haven't even read. And down the bottom, there it is, Download Super C. Now, I've already got that one open. And again, scrolling all the way to the bottom of the website, so I'll just go back to the top so you know what it looks like. So it's, we've still got that banner. And a bunch of text and a table regarding video formats. Scrolling down all the way down to the bottom, and there you go, Download Now. And that's a link directly to the Xyz so you can download those files. Okay, so that's how you get Super C. Uh, once you've got it, <coughs> you open it up and it looks like this. And to the uninitiated, that's pretty wild. Uh, now, every time I do it, I kind of wonder how I did it. Select Output Container. So that's the format that you want the video to output to. So let me see. The problem I have with I use um, at the moment I'm using Windows Movie Maker uh, using images a series of images to create a audio slideshow uh, and then normally I'd use Videora iPod converter uh, to get it into an MPEG-4 format but it's that that process isn't working for me so I'll try Super C to do it so I'm going to select MPEG-4 as the output format that's because I want it to play on in QuickTime Player and an iPod portable movie player. Then you can select the Kodak type you want. Now you've got to know your codecs, but um, I'll just leave it as the defaults I would. Now the size though, I'm going to go for 320 by 240 because I happen to know that that's the size of the video for iPod. Now the rest, oh, it's a bit scratch your head, see how you're going. Um, you can disable the audio. Now, we're at the point where you drag and drop the media into this into this uh, window here. So let me just get up a video file. Uh, probably taking the long way around here. Uh, videos. Actually, no, I won't go that way. Sorry for that delay. I'll just go straight into the desktop projects I've got going at the moment. So that's an example. Here is all my images and I drag them into a Windows Media Maker file and that should have output to a um, movie but it's not there, god how annoying, so I'll try another folder okay there's a video there okay so I get this folder open and I just happen to know that that's, that's a video, it's a um, oh, whatever the WMV I think it's called for Windows video format and like I said I wanted to get it to an MPEG-4 so if I click and drag it to there till you get a little plus sign on your mouse and put it in there and there it is listed with the checkbox checked now I could stack up a bunch of videos before I was to start encoding but let's just go encode this one now and it gives you the progress and the output file size. Now the file size is something I'm still working on. Uh, generally speaking the Super C is a bit disappointing with its file size um, but it's certainly good enough to get it into the formats and then you can mess around with other things like video, video or iPod converter might get it down again. Uh, the other thing is, uh, there it goes, looks like it's finished. Um, the other thing I find hard to remember is where it puts the ended file. So I'll just right click there and I think it has there. Right click specify output folder. Okay now it looks like I've got it going to the desktop anyway so that, that one I just processed should be on the desktop. 
there it is there. Now the other thing about it is that even though I set it to uh, send out to an MPEG-4, it still retained the file extension WMV. So I'm going to right click and properties and check it. Yes it is WMV. So I'll just change that to MP4. Um, okay on that. I'm not sure if that just changed it then. I might just rename it all. Yeah, no, it's an MP4. So that should be right to go then. Um, I think MP4 is the extension. It might be MPEG4. I can't remember. I always forget that one. But anyway, that's one of the little hacky things about Super C is you've got to actually change it to the um, file format extension manually. It will otherwise it will output to the original file format extension, and that confuses you. But okay, that's pretty much it. Super C.